What's up, my boss babes, y'all? Back with another video, okay? I want to. I just want to give the glory to the Most High God of Israel, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, aka Jesus Christ, okay? And um, uh, and shh, okay? Don't come down here being loud, okay? So, boss babes, this video is going to be about you have to choose yourself, okay? You have to choose you. It's time that you choose you. You know, you've been choosing everybody else. You've been worried about everybody else. You've been trying to fix everybody else, you know, while people have been trying to tear you down and destroy you, okay? But you've been around here trying to fix everybody, trying to speak life to everybody, trying to be kind to everybody, trying to repay people's evil. But when they pay evil to you, you pay them with good. You've been doing everything that God has been telling you to do. You know, some of us have made a couple of mistakes along the way, but for a majority of the part, the God saying that you have passed his test, you have shown God that your heart is in the right place the right place okay and god is wanting to bless you okay so it's time for you to focus on yourself sometimes god will bless you mentally okay uh sometimes people will look um at god and be like oh the, the physical stuff is not here sometimes god will bless you mentally okay he will elevate your mind you know he will elevate your old thinking patterns you would not think the same way okay you would not think the same way you will be renewed in your mind. You will be renewed in your spirit. He will give you a new body, a new flesh, okay? So the, the ways that you used to think, you don't think no more. You know, the ways you used to be petty, you don't be petty no more. You done matured. You done grown. Hold on, y'all. So, yes, y'all. I forgot where I left off, but, yes, y'all been, been choosing, you know, others above yourself. You know, you've been tolerating a lot of disrespect. You've been tolerating a lot of mistreatment. You've been tolerating a lot of things. All for the sake of just, you know, wanting to show people that you are a good person. But, look, it's time for you to stop sacrificing yourself. You know, it's time for you to put yourself first. It's time for you to get to your peace, get your peace that you deserve, get your joy back. A lot of you guys were dealing with people that were trying to bring chaos in your life and trying to purposely set traps for you, okay? A lot of it was family. It's so sad to say. A lot of it was your relatives, you know, you know, your your parents, you know. They are upset. A lot of your parents are upset because you're becoming somebody that they never thought you could be, okay? And, and a lot of them feel like because they didn't do it, it because they didn't reach this certain level that you shouldn't reach it but no that's not true god has a plan for everybody else and and just because you know you're living your life and you're and god is choosing to bless you it doesn't it doesn't give somebody a right to feel like they should compare their lives to yours and try to destroy your life because you're simply just trying to live your life and be happy and and, and mind your business and take care of your business you know some people are are upset with you simply because you just mind your business and you take care of your family you know, some people will be upset, upset with you for that. You know, in my situation, let's just say, like, let me just show y'all something basic. Okay, so I just uh, moved, right? And so, like, I have these neighbors. And, like, I don't really come outside because, y'all, I am literally like a homebody. And I don't got no furniture outside in, in my house that I feel like. Like, y'all know, like, the little comfy chairs. I got a chair I can come and take outside, but I need me a comfy chair that I can sit outside in because I, I don't want to sit on the concrete, you know, on the porch. I need the chair to sit outside with. So I don't really be outside like that. I'm in the house, open up my window, get some fresh air, you know what I'm talking about. And I just, you know, be cooking. And sometimes I've been, I be tired, y'all. I don't be want to go outside. So the kids, they'll do it to you. But I have neighbors that are like, you know, talking to my husband and like just wondering why I'm not coming outside and just like saying, you know, why you guys don't come outside? It's like, y'all gonna see us when y'all see us. But you know, some people, when they see that you are literally minding your business, it sometimes can bother people, you know? And I'm not saying I'm bothering them. I'm just saying that sometimes people really just wanna know you and wanna get to know you. But sometimes these people could have unclean spirits. So while they trying to get to know you, they could have an ulterior motive, you know? They could have thing they could they could they could participate in witchcraft or you know they could have an ulterior motive of why they want to get to know you and if they don't have good morals or good character they're going to whatever spirit that's in them is going to try to attach itself onto you so you have to be careful with who you who you kick it with who you share your information with you know what i'm saying everybody don't need to see you everybody don't need to know who you are just because you live around a certain group of people that don't mean that you need to be neighborly 
because that's what they keep saying them neighborly neighborly look god done been god be showing me dreams about even neighbors i don't even know i'd be like oh okay i see why i see why you've been having me up in the, up in here okay sometimes god will have you in isolation because what's out there is sharks and, and, and jellyfish and things and that are going to hurt you so just because you're in isolation it doesn't necessarily mean that you're lonely or you're alone or you're doing something wrong because there's nothing wrong with being to yourself you know there's a lot of people that don't know how to be to themselves they always need a crowd they always need a group they can't they can't come to the function alone they got to come with shaquisha babisha dadisha they got to come with all them but you you come alone baby and it's because you have full confidence in yourself because you know that God put something inside of you and you know that when you come in the room, you come in with a purpose, okay? You come in to try to change some lives. You come in to try to make a difference. A lot of these people, when they come in, in these groups, they come in to start some mess. They come in to the, the gossip. They come in to be nosy, you know? Things that is not going to get them anywhere, okay? And, and it won't be getting you anywhere. So, y'all, it's time to focus on yourself. Do what makes do what's best for you don't do what's best for others or what others think is best for you because really nobody don't know what's best for you but you and god okay so always ask god what's going on around you you know if you if you want to chill with somebody you, you you meet a new friend you i know you've been in isolation i know you're ready to get out there but don't be in a rush to just hop in any friendship or any relationship with a man or a woman you know because you don't know what that person spirit what spirit that spirits that person is carrying and if you're not careful you don't guard your heart you you might come into covenant with a demon okay you don't want to come into covenant with a demon now okay so just be prayerful pray over every relationship that you have and ask the lord of how you should deal with a relationship don't never just take somebody's word on how you should deal with a certain person always go to god god is going to show you exactly how you need to deal with somebody whether you need to pray for them whether you need to distance yourself from them whether you need to help them whether you don't need to help them god is going to show you what you need to do pertaining to your enemies pertaining to whoever it is you know what I'm saying? Family members, old friends, exes. You know, sometimes you just got to focus on you, you know. And this social media stuff, y'all, be careful on these Facebooks and these Instagrams because, yes, these witches and warlocks, they use this stuff as a portal to be able to attack you. And all they need is a picture, baby. That's all they need. So if you if you be seeing people watching you and you notice it and you know that they, they dabble in that stuff and God done showed you in a dream that this person is doing something against you, go ahead and block that person. Don't even waste no time. Don't even play with them. If somebody try to throw shade at you online, go ahead and block them. Go ahead and remove them. Don't even waste no time. Don't this this is the season where you cannot waste time with a hater. You cannot waste time with people that's not trying to benefit you. With people that's trying to destroy you. Whether if it's mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever, it don't matter. Even if they just trying to throw shade, baby. Tell them don't put no don't throw no shade at you, baby. Because it's sunny over here, baby. We don't need no shade, baby. We, we want some vitamin D, baby. We've been, we been in the shade. all. It's been winter. It's, it's, it's summer now, baby. It's spring now, baby. We out here. Okay? We'll get, we'll get some shade when we ready. But right now, we shining, baby. Don't try to dim our light. Okay? <laughs> That's how you got to tell them, boss, baby. Don't let, them, don't let these haters dim your light. Because at the end of the day, God chose you to shine bright it's your season you've been in isolation you've been sitting back you've been choosing everybody else and you ain't been choosing yourself god said it's time to choose you okay so y'all that's the end of this message y'all i love y'all my boss babes y'all stay bossed up and stay prayed up bye y'all